Hello developers, welcome to this series where I'm going to be documenting the building of a brand new storefront using our new Magento 2 SDK. We are also going to use Storefront UI 2 and Nux 3 for this project. If it sounds interesting and you would like to join the project, go ahead and check out the description for our Discord links as well as our repository, which I will also have linked. All right, let's start out by checking out the documentation. As you can see, we have a quick start guide here. And if you would like to build out your own store separate from this project, you can go through and it will teach you how to install the SDK and the middleware. I've already done that. So I'm going to skip that part because I'm going to show you what the end result looks like in a minute. Also, you're going to need a Magento installation. So if you don't already have one, it's pretty straightforward to get up and running. If you use our CLI, all you'll need is to make sure that you um, get your keys, your API keys from um, Adobe uh, Commerce. But this is a very quick way to get a local installation running. I can show you, I always have one running, Magento.test. I always have a local installation running with you know the dummy data. And that's a great way to develop if you already have one running. All right, you can check out the rest of the documentation on your own. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. We now have the repository live and I'm gonna be building out everything in public, which means I'll be creating the issues, planning and doing everything in public. And as I've already mentioned, you are welcome to join at any time. Links are in the description. Um, so let's see what I have so far. So far, I've only installed the SDK, created the middleware, and installed Storefront UI 2, and just made one composable to see that everything was working where I searched for a watch. So let me show you what that end result looks like. I went ahead and used Lerna to create a mono repo so that it's easier to start and stop everything at once because we do have two separate applications. We have the Nuxt front end, and then we also have the middleware and the Nux application has the SDK already installed inside of it now, along with storefront UI two. And you can see that we are initializing the SDK using that Magento module and it, and we are using that module to initialize the SDK, which means we can use the SDK inside of our application. And I've done that inside of a composable here. As you see, we're using SDK Magento to grab some products. And that is what we end up seeing right here. So now we know that we have a working installation of Storefront UI 2 and the Magento 2 SDK. And the other part of the project is the middleware, which is pretty similar to the old middleware. There have been some minor tweaks to it to make it um, completely independent of view storefront core. And so now it is a standalone application. And um, I just essentially copied directly from the docs what I needed in order to get started along with the config. I do have the cookie names up here, but these are the defaults. You could uh, leave this part out if you want it to. I'd like to, I like to have it there just to be very explicit. And um, this is also essentially copied one to one from the docs. And then I have the ENV, which isn't very secret in this case, because it's just for the local environment. That's what we have so far. My plan between now and the next update is to start creating the modules. I'm going to be using a similar structure as um, the last version, and that will be to create everything inside of local modules, which I will have. Uh, built in here. I'll start out by uh, creating the tickets in GitHub as issues and um, I will tag them. And if you would like to go ahead and grab a ticket and you can help make this thing a reality for the entire community to benefit from. Until next time, happy coding.